I was recently watching one of my older videos which was about five years old at this point and the video was actually titled the truth about being a full-time reseller on eBay and on Poshmark and I've made over 500 videos here on this channel this is one of those videos that's aged really really well in that video I was basically talking about my journey of entrepreneurship talking about my past coming from higher education and stuff like that I have a background in higher education I got my master's in higher education back in 2013 and I was working as an academic advisor for about four years almost five and then I decided I wanted to you know switch things up a little bit and change my experience so I decided to move to California for a director position and the crazy thing is I moved all the way across the country with my now fiance and that was supposed to be my you know my career path I wanted to be a president of a university but that experience was just so terrible for me that I realized that this is not what I wanted to do. And I wanted, to, I was always interested in entrepreneurship. I was like literally fascinated with it. And it, the thing is that it scared me because not having that security, like just tr basically just constantly hustling. I was, I was afraid of it. A few months passed. Uh, like I said, I was hating the experience. So then I quit the job after nine months. I took that risk. I took that leap. And from there is when I really tried to figure out what am I actually going to do to make money. So before I quit, I actually saved up about maybe fourteen, fifteen thousand dollars just so I could have some cushion. But the crazy thing is, I didn't really start making any real money until about six months afterwards. So it wasn't until that fifteen thousand basically was depleted was when I really started making money. In this one, I'm gonna give you guys somewhat of more of a timeline, especially for those that are just kind of discovering my channel now and are interested in becoming a full-time reseller. Uh, maybe you're at a job that you hate. Maybe you wanna just do it part-time and make some extra money since everything right now is expensive as hell and we kind of all need to make more money. Um, this video will kind of give you guys uh, somewhat of a framework, especially in terms of the path that I took and hopefully some inspiration, hopefully can help you avoid some pitfalls and stuff like that. So when I first first started selling anything on eBay, I literally started with just the items in my closet. And I always tell people that's the best way to start, especially if you have, you know, nice clothes or maybe you have some electronics that you're not using, like an old video game system or, you know, a VCR, DVD play. You might have something like that laying around in the house. Start by just selling those things because I think everybody has those types of stuff. And that's exactly what I did. I started by selling my out items out of my closet and at that particular time I was really into menswear uh, like I said this was five years ago when I made that video but when I started eBay it was eight years ago so this was in the height of literally hashtag menswear on Instagram so I used to wear a ton of suits tons of dress shirts ties stuff like that and I sold all of those things on eBay and I literally was able to see an influx of cash just by selling a lot of stuff from my collection so I started primarily just by selling clothes out of my closet. And I went from doing that to taking that knowledge of different brands and different silhouettes and going into thrift stores and searching for those same items. And from that stage, primarily shoes from places like Ross, Burlington, Marshalls, and different outlets. And that's all I would do. So for years, I literally sold, I think for the first five years of my eBay business, I sold just used clothing. Then the next portion of my eBay career, I just sold nothing but shoes. And then the next portion, I, I kind of broke away from shoes. This was maybe 2021, 2022. I started selling electronics because every every stage of business, I realized that, you know, there are certain waves, there are certain trends and there are certain uh, opportunities that come your way and you just have to seize those opportunities when I lived in California getting my hands on really good uh, brand name clothing at a really cheap price was at my fingertips and was just really accessible once I moved to Arizona I had to switch it up and you know they have a ton of outlets out here so I was able to take advantage of that and once I moved again a little further from the outlets and a lot of those uh, discount stores I realized that I was in an area where I could get my hands on a ton of consumer electronics like video game consoles and camera gear and audio equipment. So I switched up my business again and that's what I'm currently doing. And I even dabbled in wholesaling, doing stuff on Alibaba, buying stuff online and getting pallet shipped to the house. Like I've literally tried a tons of different ways in terms of just keeping my business business afloat and navigating the, the crazy seas of being a, a full-time reseller. But I say all of that to say when it comes to just managing a business or 
primarily being a full-time reseller, it's all about making the pivots and it's all about adjusting, but also learning, like constantly educating yourself on categories. Because even this year, I started selling golf equipment and I started selling tons and tons of golf gear, different polos and different golf clothes that I never would have picked up in the past. But now when I'm in certain thrift stores, my eyes are literally like searching primarily for those types of items. And I was able to bring in a ton of money into my store just by acquiring that type of knowledge. Because as we all know, Arizona is pretty much famous for their golf courses. So I find good golf clubs, golf bags, golf clothes all the time. So I realized I just had to take advantage of, once again, just another really good opportunity that was just at my fingertips. I knew when I came out here, there was other people goodwill every single day doing just what I'm doing. And at first I would feel like, damn, I'm probably not going to get anything good. But because I did so much research and I knew so many different brands and so many different categories, I was able to really crush the competition. Like they would be there for two hours and I would be there for 15 minutes and I would immediately find something that they didn't know anything about. And that's the thing about doing research. And that's probably the best part of advice, the best piece of advice I could give new resellers and even more experienced sellers. You just constantly got to educate yourself because in this business, it's definitely very competitive and it's crazy tough. Like I know I share some of my thrift store hauls and I recently shared some sales that I just had. And I noticed a lot of people do that. They will share the, the good moments and the happy times. It took me so long to even come on to YouTube because I was still struggling trying to figure out how to make sales consistently. I just didn't want people out there that wants to start reselling thinking that this is going to be a walk in the park. You're going to go to a couple thrift stores, you're going to find some things to sell, and you're just going to be, you know, rolling in the dough. I'll make you rain all day long. Like, that's bullshit. Like, this is a real job, and this is definitely the hardest I've ever worked in my life. Um, reselling, like I said, it has its ups and downs, but there's so many ups to it. I realized that at that particular time when I was watching that video, I was still excited about, you know, not having a boss and being my being my own boss and doing what I wanted to do when I wanted to do it. But even in that video, I remember specifically telling people that reselling is really tough. Like if you don't have a system in place, if you don't have the discipline and the consistency to really continue to go out there and get it and make money for yourself, it's not for you. Like, trust me, if you if you're one of those people that just want to, you know, make money on the side and think eBay is something that you can just do uh, in your sleep and just make money in your sleep. Trust me, sales come in sometimes when I'm sleeping, but the money is made while I'm sourcing. The money is made while I'm listing like it's a ton of work. And it's also something to consider if you have kids. I have a two and a half year old and I have a seven month old and they're both at home. They're not in daycare. And by me, you know, running these eBay businesses, I'm able to, you know, have my wife stay at home and take care of the kids. And that's another opportunity that a lot of people and myself probably would have taken for granted if I didn't have my own business. Chances are my wife and I, we probably would both have to work, especially in this economy with how crazy things are. So it's it like I said, it has its ups, it has its downs, but I think that's with anything. Everything has its pros and cons. And for me, um, since I was able to do so much with reselling and thanks to eBay, thanks to Poshmark, I've been able to do a lot since then. And even at that particular time, I felt like I was doing a lot. So God is good. And I'm just glad that I was able to continue to push, you know, continue to learn new things. And I think if if you guys take anything from this video, it's the goal is to constantly learn, constantly adapt. And if you want to be successful on eBay, you have to just be prepared for change because eBay constantly changes every single. I feel like every every quarter there's a new announcement there's a new change or some type of adjustment that sometimes good and sometimes it's bad so you just got to be prepared for just about any and everything on ebay and you constantly have to be you know willing to to do good customer service because with the amount of people that selling things on ebay or are interested on selling things on ebay they're they're kind of weeding out the bad sellers and they're kind of weeding out the people that are not good for the platform so they're just really trying to make eBay a safe and comfortable environment for buyers. And if you're a seller that's not up to par, they're, you know, they're shadow banning you, they're 
hiding your listings they're making it tough for you so definitely keep that in mind but if you guys haven't already I just posted a video last week about one of my recent mistakes on eBay and it's something that you know possibly can happen to brand new sellers and even more experienced sellers like myself because like I said I've been doing this for almost 10 years and I still made a mistake as well so if you're interested in that I'll make sure I put that up right here for you and I'll see you guys in the next one peace